Android is a complex mobile operating system. So there are going to be times when your phone may randomly reboot. It may slow down to a crawl or it could cause applications to freeze or force close entirely. Sometimes these issues are due to data corruption within the Android file system, while other times you'll notice these problems happening because of a third party application that's misbehaving. Whatever the reason, I want this video to be your one stop for diagnosing and fixing these common problems that pop up from time to time. The first issue that I want to cover here today was actually inspired by a comment here on the channel. As they noticed their smartphone had been rebooting at random times throughout the day, and they wondered how they could troubleshoot this issue. And sadly, this one can be more complex than some other problems. But the first thing that I would check for is any physical damage that's happened with the phone. Is it possible that you dropped it recently? Or maybe you had some water get inside? It's even possible that you're dealing with a condensation issue if you're moving through extreme temperature changes throughout the day. So the first thing that I would do is give the phone a detailed visual inspection. Look for any dents on the corners. Look at the seam all the way around. See if you're able to notice any physical damage that's causing metal inside to touch other components. Maybe you hear some rattling parts that have gotten loose inside. And you can also check for any signs of water damage while you're at it. Some of these will be easy to spot while others may require you to start taking your phone apart so that you can see how its internal components are holding up. You may actually be dealing with a software related issue here. And if that's the case, then it can be really difficult to zero in on exactly what is causing the problem. But the first thing that I would do to troubleshoot any software related issues is boot the phone into what is known as safe mode. Now this is usually done by first bringing up the power menu and then either performing a long press gesture on the power off option or performing a long press gesture on the restart option. It really can be different depending on which phone you have. You'll confirm that you do want to reboot into safe mode and after you tap on OK, the phone will restart and you'll be taken back into Android with a watermark in the bottom left corner to designate that you are currently in safe mode. While your phone is in that special boot mode, any and all of your third party apps that are installed will not be able to be launched. But this is a good thing because sometimes the issue is caused by a random application that you installed a few days back. So try to use your phone as much as possible throughout the day while it is in safe mode and see if you can replicate that issue that you've been having. If you can't and the phone performs flawlessly, then you're going to need to reboot out of safe mode and then start uninstalling your third party applications one at a time. It's going to be nearly impossible to figure out which one it is. So removing them one by one and testing the operating system between uninstalling apps should give you an idea and help you find the culprit rather easily. There are going to be some times when troubleshooting in safe mode does not give you any good results. And you'll notice that the issue is actually within the file system itself. If that's the case, then your only way to resolve it is going to be doing a full factory data reset. If you have an unlocked bootloader, you could try some Linux-based file system checks 
but the rest of us won't have that as an option because our bootloader is locked. This normally means that the operating system codebase cannot be changed, which is a way to keep the software secure and locked down. But if there has been some corruption to the saved data, then a locked bootloader will prevent you from fixing just that tiny issue. So your only path forward is to perform a factory data reset. This should be your last attempt when it comes to trying to fix an issue that you're having with Android, but it is sometimes required in order to fix these random hiccups that pop up. Alternatively, if you're only having a problem with one specific app, then it's much easier to work through. Third-party apps can just be uninstalled and then reinstalled all over again. You could try and avoid losing your saved data by performing a long press gesture on the app icon, tapping on the little eye icon from that pop-up, so that you can go to the app info page, then diving into the storage section and clearing the cached data. You can then try to open the app up and see if you're having the same issue as you were before. If it's a pre-installed app that you're having issues with, then you won't have the option of reinstalling it. For those instances, you could try to wipe the app data from the storage section. You'll see the clear storage option listed right there. Although first, I would suggest tapping on the three dot menu icon up here, also known as the kebab icon, and then choosing the uninstall update options from this drop down menu. This path will keep your app data intact so that you don't have to set it back up again, but you will notice that all of your updates have been removed as well. So you may end up seeing it revert back to an old user interface or missing some of those newer features that had been added. Either way, test the application again to see if you're still having the same freezing or force closing issues that you noticed before. There are all sorts of reasons why you may be noticing random issues with your Android smartphone or tablet. You may even see apps refusing to open or closing unexpectedly if there's no more storage left on your smartphone. So that's something that you'll need to look into as well. But I want you all to know that I'm here to help you in any way that I can. If these recommendations didn't help, then please drop down into the comment section down below to share the details with me. I can't promise that I'll be able to help everyone or even have the chance to reply to every comment, but I will do what I can, and I hope to at least be able to point you in the right direction if it's not something that I can actively help with. Now, I want to thank every one of you who stuck with me to the end of this video. It really means a lot to see that. And if you could, please do not forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel as well for more Android tips like this.